Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Help. And today we are doing another Windows application video. And I'm going to be making official Windows application videos, how to make your own Windows software in a future time. I'm not really sure when, but since I'm at this point right now in real life, I figure I might as well just knock it out away right now for this one section and it's how to make a custom installer and this is very important because as some of you who've been watching my last two videos i have to make a software for my school where it's basically a panic button and it'll be installed on all desktops in the school and hopefully it'll go state if not government wide and basically what happens is the person selects the thing and the security automatically knows which room and which building to go to and that's that instead of picking up my phone I have to make noise taking the time to dial or whatever all you have to do is press a button to open this up and then press which one they want and the thing will even close it out for them so it's a very quick very easy thing to do so as far as that goes, how do we know which room they're going to be in? Again, this is just a user interface, so we're not going to get into any of that stuff, the hardcore code. But uh, how do we know which room they're in? I think the best way to do it is through the installer. Basically making it where whenever the thing installs, the uh, computer will ask in the installer, what room and what building and then that will be gathered obviously we're not gathering that information right now we're just making a user interface to show them to see if they like it or not it's part of the application process uh, if you got clients so um one thing i did do that's different from there is i just turn off that icon i didn't like it if it, right there I didn't like it right there and again the icons gonna be switched out anyways now as far as that goes let's uh, build this and it should already be built and let's go and uh, talk about what we're gonna be doing next if you go down to new project other project types system deployment if you see shield limited edition this is what we're going to be using there is other installers out there but this is what i'm going to be using because this is what i've had highest ease with a lot of people have highest ease with this one and highest success now if you don't know where you can get it you can go to tools extension and update again this is visual studio 2015 and then go down to online and then give a second or two it's open that up visual studio gallery and i think it's um, other or tools and set up and deployment and it should be one of the first ones but um from there basically what we're going to do and you can search it from that thing but from there what we're going to do is just start a new project each installer you gotta do this it's kind of weird i don't know why they don't just go directly through the app itself but um start a new project and let's just name it something that we know what it means so what is this called panic user interface uh, setup all right symbols that give it a second or two to thing oh um make sure you have the uh, this really available go to the application that you're wanting to project and then go to bin debug and you're going to need this in a second it doesn't matter which installer you go to, you need to do that a little bit. 
So from here, uh, how does this exactly work? Well, basically what we're doing is, this is a user interface. You can do it the old fashioned way, but I don't like doing that. I don't know why people want to deal with crap. So what we're doing here is uh, specify your net company name, yeah, yeah. And I just put my name in there, it's just whatever. I specify the application name, the version, and you got to have a website uh, it doesn't have to be legit and from here you can specify the icon for the installer itself i'm not going to worry about that because that's fine for me we're going to go to the next you can use that or just click on that i'm not restricting that at all so oh and uh if you see something over here, you can click on that and edit it. So say for example, I uh, want to edit a requirement. I can do that. Easy. You'll, you'll get a pop-up. Just tell it not to show you the pop-up again and, and press OK. That way it does its thing. So from here, the uh, go to the application files. This is where you're going to need this. So from here, you have... Um, what their computer would be like so um destination compu computer um the program files the whatever you want this to be named and then the project name and then from there you need to just move that over there for copy and paste and that's it now some of them you will have to to uh not, not in this installer but some other installers it's best to move the um shortcuts if you have things or if you know how to make any shortcuts you just right click create a shortcut and move it to the if it has a desktop folder or whatever on this you don't have to do that the person could select if they want that in the first place or not in fact that's the next option so from here, what we're going to do is say create a desktop shortcut and start menu shortcut. We're not going to uh, worry about that at all. We just want this. So we don't need to do anything with the registry. It's cool. And for this, I don't have a license grant. Again, this is a prototype, it's whatever. Um, for this, we're going to say yes to both, um, because, you know, it's a school, but for the most part, um, we want this to say yes, because this is how we're going to get a room and building number, and I don't really care for that. So, how do we edit this to say building and room now uh, show you something real quick the uh sorry about that. if we go to dialog if we go down to one of these in fact it, it shows you what it looks like right there Let's see if i can find it oh here it is customer information it will say username and company or something like that i don't want that I want it to say building number and, or building and room number. So we're going to fix that, but while I'm here, I'm going to show you. You can actually change the images. In fact, this is one of the reasons why I like it is because you can change the banners, the copyright tags, if it even shows copyright. Uh, in this case, I don't want it to because it's not. Um, and so on. I can make a copyright. I can say it's under this company, but I'm not, I don't really care. So from here, uh, which one is it? It's uh, this one, custom. Let's close this real quick, so it doesn't create any confusion. Um, it's under this one. Just go text and message, dialogue text. And, um, is it that one? 
there it is so customer information under that I was right and um, if you go to these they actually show you the different looks as far as what exactly it says so from here what we need to do is customer information and uh, what we need to do is right here at and username is a uh, in organization for this we're replacing that with room and um, yeah so from here I don't know what that is from here you can edit the looks of it and all the other stuff I I think it's fine and um, it, it's fine now one thing I will point out is here this is actually something to keep in mind is if you do have the professional or premier version of this you can actually um, do a little bit more I don't know the prices of those I'm going to actually take a look at that after this video but for the most part I'm not worried about that at all so from here we we basically change the this first one to and it, it it's not dynamic it just shows you a stock image a uh, building and then the next one's gonna be room and I'm show you that when we uh, finalize everything let's go back to make sure and uh, let's just go right through to make sure that we have everything done and it looks like all that is right. Alright, so what we want to do is build solution or rebuild solution, it really doesn't matter. And um, we're just going to wait on that for a second or two. And from here, what we can do is go to the projects, what we just made and just go down and here we go so this is the thing we want to send out and let's just double click it to make sure that we got everything right next and as you see here building room which again that's the biggest thing I wanted from this installer is uh, you can change that now how do you get the information off that I don't know Let's just fly out and say, I don't know, but give me an hour and I could find out. And in fact, that's the reason why I excel on a lot of this technology stuff is just give me a very short amount of time or, or a certain amount of time and I'll figure it out. But, um, and if you want to go in this profession, you pretty much have to be the same way is you got to know how Google works and you got to know how to not be afraid to experiment. So, um, we got that, and all they would do is change that here. It doesn't really matter. It's not collecting the information. Um, and then it goes from there. I think what the best way to do this, I'm not, I'm not going to install it. Uh, the best way to do this is simply by, when this information is collected, it's probably going to be in some type of file, a text file or something. So what I can do is get the system itself to recognize that file and then use that to send information out. But how do I make that protected? Uh, that's the key that I got to figure out because, again, this is security. This is actual physical security that we're doing with. So we don't want some Joe Blow to screw around and change values where we uh, don't want them at all. So that's uh, something that we got to keep in mind and something I will tackle in future time. But for anyone who does coding or at least does coding for others, you will go through this process where you just make the user interface, see if this is what they want, and then go from there. Most time, nearly every time even if they're in the technical field they don't even know how half this stuff works and because of that the uh, 
you're not boring with all that. You're just saying, hey, do you want this to look like this? Like, yeah. It's like, all right, give me what amount of time and uh, consider it done. Um, for me, I'm, I'm pretty much going to get a team, see if I can do it. But uh, as far as that goes, that's pretty much it. So, um, if I did like, leave anything off and that you know about, feel free to leave that in the comment section. And um, oh, uh, one thing before I forget is you may want to test this. Uh, I've I've had mixed results in this in the past, where the digital signature has stayed with it, and uh, other times it hasn't. What I will advise you to do is, if you're on another computer, email this file to yourself or put it in a compressed zip and email it to yourself. That's probably going to be the better one since most email services won't even let you download it if it's a uh, this type of file. And um, what that will do is, if, you, if you're able to download and install with having optimal firewalls and antiviruses and stuff like that then that means or at least windows is not bugging you with it then that means that the digital signatures are kept i've had mixed results with that um that's something that i'm going to be looking into for future but uh, as far as that goes uh, again it's been craig bent found on our tech view snow and um it, oh and um the these are same but try to just do this one um, this is kind of an old just go for this one uh, but anyways uh, if you do have any questions or comments or anything else feel free to leave that down below in the comment section and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible and if you like this go ahead and leave a like subscribe share if it's helped you out then uh, feel free to check out our Patreon campaign and other campaigns have a great day